my boxing brain. The last time I left my boxing brain in Miami, I think, and um, I didn't bring it back to the UK. This time around, I've re-established it. Ishmael Salas has been instrumental in rewiring my brain, rewiring my body movements, rewiring, um, connecting my hands to my, my feet to my hands to my brain. He's got everything working again. Also having Ruben Tabares back on the team really makes a difference. You know, you know, sometimes, you know, I, just because I've done certain things in the past, doesn't mean that I can automatically still do them. You know, you could be, you know, you could, for instance, you, you could juggle one one day, so you can juggle. Don't you don't juggle for 20 years. You forget how to juggle. So you need to sharpen your tools. Keep constantly make sure that whatever uh, the tool set you have that's been affected over the years, those tools are sharp. And this time round, you no, know, I've been sharpening my tools behind the scenes. You know, with Ishmael Salas, you know, sort of re reinventing some of the things that I've been very good at in the past that kind of forgotten that forgotten I did and just didn't do for some strange reason but you're gonna see you're gonna see something very very special. How emotionally charged are you for are you for this fight? I'm you know this this is it for me. You know I there's there's no tomorrow, there's no uh, May 6th, you know, this is it, you know, I have to perform and have to perform at my best But I've, I've, I have that same feeling going into all my fights against the Derek Chisora, against Klitschko, against Valua If I don't perform to my best, I get knocked out. I lose. That, that's how it works That's how it's been with me being a small guy in the fight. This time around, not so much It's not so much I'm afraid, afraid of getting knocked out, it's just losing because if I lose this fight against the cruiserweight I've got no business uh, carrying on in the heavyweight division David, seconds out, I um, just wanted to ask, you've given Ismail Salas a lot of credit for mm. the better shape you're in this time around. What it's the, ment it's the, it's the um, Ishmael Salas has sort of brought out a lot of the things I used to do more. Um, he's he's uh, spent a lot of time just on my legs. You know, a lot, of, a lot of coaches just focus on the punches. They go, okay, throw a double jab, right and left hook, work on combinations. We worked for months on my legs, just my connection between my brain and my legs, you know, making sure that, you know, the dexterity is there, making sure that the movement's there, my hips. Were, there's so much stuff we've worked on, and I feel so much better now. I feel, I feel like, you know, my old self. When I say my old self, I'm talking, you've got to go back to 2007, 2008. That's how good I'm feeling. In the, all my heavyweight fights, there was always issues prior to it. I, was ne I never had a real smooth, a real smooth, there was always some, some issue. This time around, it's gone. It's gone very, very well. So, if if this fight doesn't go the way I'm anticipating, I'll know in my heart that that's it. It's, it's done. And do you wish you'd have been with Ishmael earlier in your career, given every, what he's been every, every everything happens for a reason. I wasn't meant to be with Ishmael Salas prior to um, last year. You know, I trained with him in 2014. Really liked working with him. wanted wanted him to train me, but he was based in Las Vegas at the time. He had some commitments with other fighters. Um, so it did work out, um, but fortunately, you know, he was available when I when I asked him to to come over to the, to, to London uh, last year, early last year, after the fight, and um, he did, and I've been. It's just the best thing I've ever done because I feel like, you know, my old self. I feel like my old self again. And at 37 years old, 37 years old, not many people can say that.